Electricity is an incredible gift. It powers our homes, computers, phones, and more. However, electricity can also be a very dangerous hazard. An average of 51,000 electrical home fires occur each year, taking almost 500 lives and injuring another 1,400. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, nearly 400 Americans die as a result of electrocution each year. So how can you prevent electrical death or injury from happening to you? Fortunately, there are a few do's and don'ts you can abide by to prevent most major shock incidences. First and foremost, there are a number of things you can do in and around your house to prevent a shock injury from occurring in your home. You should always Turn off light switches before changing out dead light bulbs. Keep cords untangled and away from heaters. Place your drinks away from your game consoles and other electronics. Likewise, you should not put anything into an outlet other than a plug, fork, knife, etc. Use electrical appliances if you're wet or standing near water. That includes using your phone in the bathtub, a radio near the pool, or even flipping a light switch while wet. Overload sockets with plugs. Signs of an overloaded circuit include warm or discolored wall plates, a burning odor, or audible cracking, sizzling, and buzzing sounds. Of course, home safety is important, but a safety-first mindset shouldn't be left at home. When you're outside, you should stay at least 35 feet away from downed power lines. Call 911 if you spot a downed wire. Stay away from transformers. Transformers are not robots. They are the green boxes you see scattered around your neighborhood that provide power to the neighborhood. And you should not swim during a thunderstorm, fly anything near power lines, kites, drones, etc climb utility poles or the trees around them. Doing all of these things can help you avoid shock. 